All right. But yeah, like, looking at this game... I should probably actually wait the last 20 seconds. It's fine. Uh, but this game will probably be a bit hard to describe. Because one, I don't actually know the game yet. But, um... We can get into it. We got like 10 more seconds till the ad break's done, and then I'll get into it. Um, because I do run an ad break right at the start of stream as early as it allows me to hopefully knock it out before everyone gets here, or as many people get here as possible. And it's done. That way, it has as little impact on the stream and, you know, as few people as possible see it. Anyway, so we're going to be checking out Spirit Spiritfarer as the first game on today. I'm, I'm intending for us to play Spirit Spiritfarer and then Outlanders. Um, it's possible we end up playing a third game if one of the games doesn't end up resonating or if we finish it real fast or something. But um, Spirit Fair, from my understanding, is you're on this giant boat. It, I vaguely believe you build stuff on the boat, is what I'm led to believe. I could be wrong. Um, I believe thematically you are you are ferrying spirits from one place to another. I don't really know, but we're going to check it out. Um, and like always, we're going to go in here. We're checking out for any accessibility stuff. They have, I actually appreciate this one, even though that was turned up to max when I started, so it's deafeningly loud. Um, this lets you really fine tune the audio to give you an idea where we're all the way up here. I could keep going down. So I appreciate that because there's a lot of times that I pull up a game, they'll have like the 10 ticks and I'll take it down to volume one. It'll still be a little loud. And it's like, okay, hang on. Like zero doesn't play sound and one's too loud. What do I do? Then I have to go into like windows and adjust its volume settings or whatever and that's it's very frustrating it's one of the reasons i don't like when they have the text or that uh texture streaming interesting um so you just have like graphic stuff texture streaming is usually something you do on online games where instead of downloading all the textures to your hard drive you stream it over it could be a different technology run in background i am going to turn on and that way when i alt tab to do stuff with like you know dealing with chat all that kind of stuff that it doesn't do that um it looks like you can disable screen shake so if you have someone who has like simulation sickness problems get rid of the screen shake uh map mouse movement i'm assuming that's um where you put your mouse on the edge of the screen and it drags it um that's another thing that's a accessibility thing for um people who get simulation sickness that could be a problem when you like move your mouse towards the edge of the screen it drags you along uh I have what? Assign players. Oh, oh, I see. So you can play multiplayer locally and if you play multiplayer locally, this would be my controls, this would be the other controls. You can do that thing where like one person hovers on that side of the keyboard and the other one hovers the other. I haven't seen a game that supports that in a long time. I was very confused for a moment. Language, you got multiple language support. Game manual. Okay. Alright. So we have a number of spirits we move, how long you've been around, and requests completed. So there's going to be requests, that's the information we've got. Yeah, so local co-op. I'm not going to do that. But it is interesting that they support local co-op. But um, the art style is hand-drawn. Okay... Ah, uh, finally. Um. I thought for a second you would never wake up, little one. How ironic that would have been, would it not? I'm Sharon. The Spirit Fairer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave. But I still had a few things left to do here. I'm afraid you'll have to pick up things where I left off. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are... Stella. Welcome, Stella. I see you have brought a friend here with you. What's his name? 
daffodil. I see. The two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes, I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. This in your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and then when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own. You will have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. Wasn't Sharon a centaur? Um, I don't know. Like, Sharon is the, um, basically what people depict as the fairy boatman who takes you to death. Like, there's different iterations of it. Um, but I don't, I don't know what all those iterations were. But it's basically the boatman who ferries, you know, people when they depart. Um, the big round bridge over there is the end, the Everdor. The Alpha where everything starts, the Omega, where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed, and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now be really careful with it. It is the Everlight. The symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you? Oh, how highly inappropriate. Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. It will be the light that shines in the darkness, the last remaining hope of the departed. Apparently it's also my belt buckle. Hope is a flame. The light that never falters, the beacon of eternity. It is a heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of those lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You'll soon get used to this place. Accustomed to these moments. You are the new spirit fairers, after all. Oh, one last thing. Once I'm gone, you'll have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella. Good luck. You will need it. <laughs> Charon's like, deuces, I've been doing this for literally thousands of years. I am out. I have had it. I am retiring from existence. I want no part of this anymore. It's your job to ferry the, uh, the lost souls. <laughs> they didn't even give me a day off. Press spacebar to jump, hold jump to jump higher. And jump down here. Press E to interact. Mm -hmm. Stella, is it really you? Stand up straight. Let me get a look at you. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. 
We'll have to find a lint roller then. Ah. Might not have been obvious after all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit bear. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of him, only ended up here by accident. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. That's terrible. Sardines. Gro no, I'm teasing. Uh, funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble before. I can see that you have the Everlight now. Of course. See that boat over there? That's the one. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. Odd wager, it will work since you're the new spirit fair. Okay, meet me on the deck over there. I'll explain it all. It's like, yep, welcome to uh, welcome to the afterlife. The first thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna commandeer a ship, uh, which apparently, excellent. I will sit upon my throne in my literal heap of trash. Excellent. I also noticed that the, there's the cat. I was like, I was like, the cat didn't follow. Over here. Okay, here goes. Hope. My fur coat won't be too damaged. What? Why are you strobing at me? No, oh, sorry. I said, you know, I agree. Sorry. Well, the joke was sardines and cigarettes. Like, ah. Sardines and cigarettes. Ugh, sardines. Wonderful. I'm not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. So... The way I see it, this boat is now yours. I have no legal authority in this realm or have any basic understanding of its laws or properties, but I'm just going to say the boat's yours. Don't you think? Good. And then my character's like, yep, totally boat's mine. I am standing on it, and therefore it is my property. Um, and as you're the spirit fair, welcoming st stray spirits, it's your new job. And once aboard, uh, they will assume their true forms. Yeah. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah. You need to come here and give me a hug. New request. Personal connection. Oh, um. Ah. Why do you look surprised when you ask for a hug and then I give you a hug? You're like, oh, hug. The thing I asked for. Uh, much better. Come with me now. Let's take a look at this chaos. Yay. I, I developed a personal connection. Oh, no. What a mess. Reminds me of Et Petunia's old yard. A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. They've done a lot of job, like good jobs with the expressions of the character. Because the moment that, um, I forget her name already, the smoking elk, whatever you're supposed to be, elk I'm guessing by the antlers, uh, brought up, you know, Aunt Petunia's. Immediately, my character's like, really? This is where we're going with this? Or, a vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this, or my dust allergies will be back. Let me think. Mm -hmm. Let's huck it in the river. There's only one way to clean this up. Let's huck it in the river. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's our local shipwright. And his jokes are garbage. Oh, I'm gonna like... Albert's going to be my friend. Albert's going to be bestie. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. We should head to Albert Shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. It's really easy, actually. There. Let me give you this key I found on the island. It will unlock the cabin in the back. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? 
Well, as a planning and escape, remember? And you know me. The plan... I plan things meticulously. Very meticulously. Go on. Open the cabin. Ca Stella. The map projector should be simple to enough to use. And you should just have to go to Albert's shipyard. I know I'm doing it in the future when they do that. We're doing we're doing the whole Alright, that's not how I expect Why are you shadowy? Are you are you standing outside? Is that what's happening right now? Yeah, so I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna go to bed. Apparently I can't. Stella. I want to talk to you. I want to play in my garbage. Where I can roll and have a good time. So we don't have double jump. There does not appear to be fall damage. We have a heckin' bell. Up, oh, game has fishing. Old shoe. Stella is very excited about the old shoe. How do I, how do I stop? There we go. Escape. All right. So I can't jump up there and stay. Hmm. I'm fine, thank you. Um, so we don't know the favorite food, we don't know the likes, we don't know those dislikes. But based on what we're seeing here, this is they have one favorite food, two likes, two dislikes based on the comma between those question marks. Um, she has properties where she is opportun or she's optimistic about her new journey, and she was recently hugged. Aww. Oh. Well, that's cute. That the cat jumps on your lap when you sit down on the couch. So it seems like there is a delay when you move between areas, I guess. So we pull up here. Oh, it's still going past. There we go. Albert Shipyard Discovered. We're here. Now head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made out of. Considering the smell, I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. I guess I wasn't expecting a shark, but also that makes sense. Welcome to the shipyard, young traveler. Where my prizes are a customer's best friend. Yeah, that's what I said at the beginning, too. It's like, how are we going to get rid of this? Let's dump it in the river. This is literally the way to death. Like, it's fine. Hi, I'm Albert. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume that you're the new spiritfarer? Well, of course you are. Anyways, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. When was right on point towards my humble expertise. Sorry, Gwen was right on point. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble expertise. Sorry, I do randomly say sentences with the words out of order. Ha, huh, let me see what you have here. Nice little dinghy. I don't, don't laugh like that. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I'd built some time ago, stored in my old shipyard. 
See, Sharon was unhappy about his gloomy, dank arc. Actually, he's always complaining about everything. But that's the customer's always right. No, they're not. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. But don't worry, you can keep this one. Let's call it a, call this a loan. Let's not call this a loan. And let me tell you something. You know, we always joke about the construction here. Don't worry. We're still working on it. Hmm. I feel you, Stella. That face right there. That face right there. I feel it. I agree. <sighs> anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. Since it's your lucky day, and I'm feeling generous, I'll offer it to you. Free of charge. Mind you, that it's just the bare bones in the terms of functionality. But the subsequent upgrades will come with at such a small price, you'll want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Okay, so it looks like I've got a bunch of blueprint stations. So the first one's going to let me have a guest house, a garden, a field, and a kitchen. Later we get a sawmill, a loom, and a foundry. An orchard, a sheep corral, and a windmill. A lounge, a chicken coop, and a crusher. A cellar, a cow stall, and a smithy. Um. Okay. Those are things I did not expect to put on a ship. We can make a small, medium, large, massive, and giant size. We can have a mailbox, an icebreaker, a Hermes Him, a rock destroyer, a Charles Bouquet? What? I don't know that word. At least not as that. Alright. I was not expecting that to be so aggressive, but okay. You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat is getting too crowded. Cheers. Okay. I'll never speak to you again, friend. I probably will. Good. Albert gave it to you for free? And said he loaned you the ship? Ominous? Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyways, let's focus on the task at hand. Cleaning up this deck. You can go over to the blueprint table uh, above the cabin and select the move op- sorry, the move option. In it, you'll be able to remove any buildings and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here. Um... Wonderful. I didn't use the move option. I actually used the salvage option. Uh, you told me the wrong thing. You did a wonderful job, Stella. And the good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. A necessary amenity. Newly welcomed spirits, such as myself, will have temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. And stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff and the humidity is hard to tolerate. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Okay. Build.
That seems impractical. Perfect. As I understand, the ship is powered by your Everlight. That's how cruising the ocean reveals stray spirits. It also explains why I couldn't do anything by myself. You must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Charon, the Everdor, the Spiritfarers, this boat, this place, me being here, it's a lot. You must be wondering what is going on. Truth be told, I don't know either. Other than the fact that I must certainly be dead because otherwise I wouldn't be a spirit. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help you and try and make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself, but somehow I just couldn't. Now I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space for now. Don't hesitate to explore the ship. You can even get into the fishing rod try. The world is your oyster. So as they visit places, it makes my map bigger. You can get a weird bus icon. You can go to the burning hole in the map. We got crates. Bright jelly. And a random icon that doesn't seem to interact in any way. Okay. Uh, let's go to the crates. This guest house is very pretty. It has your touch. Nice work as usual. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What is going on? Something else happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. Very hungry. Or human flesh. You know, being some weird spirit elk thing. You know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. You might have fished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't eat an entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'd probably choke in the fishbone and never survive, despite being a spirit. You know, who can't die. That's not how I want to go. It's absurd as it sounds. So, you should keep uh, using the blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen aboard mm. i'm pretty sure it had i've seen the plants in here what's going on as well as the necessary resources dang you require bright jelly mm. and there's only one way to get some i mm. i should have told you when i first met you something scares the heck out of me a dark presence, and even I cower from it. A void that shallows all, or the void that swallows all light included. It can take many forms. For me, it's always a jellyfish. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need is for the kitchen. For the kitchen, well, only these jellyfish can provide it to you. So there is no other option. I'll have to face my fears. But you're here. With you, I can do it. They will appear in a dark patch of pure fear on your map. You can't miss it. Go. I'll take some time to prepare myself. New request, I get cranky when I'm hungry. So, I see that I've got wreckage all over the place here. I don't seem to be able to interact with it. Let's try fishing here real fast and see what happens. I like the art style. I also like that they didn't make the fishing in the game like this overly complicated thing. It's literally you just wait for the bobber and you hold the button. Um, and the only reason I say that is mostly because 
almost every other game does the exact same fishing mechanic, so it's gotten kind of tiresome. So it's nice to have something that's just not the same thing I've always done. Alright, so I've got a couple fish and all that. Um, well, it looks like I'm going to just have to leave and go to the next place. It's too dark again. Oh, I have to navigate tomorrow? Oh, you want to talk to me. Hang on. I hope she turns out like, I can't do it. The jellyfish are too scary. Stella. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you see, the boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your ever-light being, well, light. Or some other technicality. Mm -hmm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want. Tackle unfinished business, or just chill in the deck under the stars. I suggest you go to sleep, too, in that cozy little room up top of your cabin. Mm -hmm. You wake up refreshed and ready to go, and the ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, talking about that. You know me, waking up on time has never been my forte. You can ring the bell, uh, you could ring the big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it at the right time. Early mornings should be the trick. Speaking of which, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, Stella. Have a good night. Oh, I see. If you look at the top right, there's like, like, evening or whatever. So my assumption is it'll keep scrolling around. Um, and when it hits the bell phase, I push the bell to wake everyone up. I can't tell if it is turning or not, or if like I have to sleep. We'll go to sleep. Sleep until morning? Yes, no. Uh, uh, Press C to toggle and trajectory display on and off. Okay. Alright, so you're not talking yet? That's fine. It looks like whatever I need, I probably have to make a net or something else here to be able to collect those crates. So it looks like we're going to just be heading to the next location, which is what I was about to do in a minute. So we're gonna go to the Pool of Fear, where all light is consumed. Yay! Alright, I have to test something. Oh, I just had to jump off the front of the boat. I don't really know how to get back in the boat. Oh, okay. I could jump if I just like really hold the button there. Okay, so I can just huck myself off the boat. Yeah, so apparently at the crates I just need to jump off the boat. That's fine, we'll be back. Yeah, the, uh, the animation style is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I actually have a, um... Can I go in your room? Alright, fair enough. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> I just noticed. So, this is a guest room for our spirits coming through. So no bed, we give them a couch to sleep on, I guess. We've got some type of ceramic something or other on the shelf. A cute little shelf, so that part's fine. And then a picture of ourselves and our cat. 
Dang. Here they come. Remember, set your eyes on the ones with bright jelly. They should be visible enough. That said, pop as many as you can. You'll get glims anyway. I'll wait for you inside. It's just too hard for me to stay out here. Okay, go ahead. I believe in you. Don't die. They'll strand me here for all eternity. That's not how I expected that to work. I misunderstood the instructions. I won't be able to get there in time. I should just go to the ladder. Then I can just climb up and down to do it. That was not the smartest move I've had. Well, I'm going to miss a whole bunch. Because I jumped in the water. All the blinking lights. Get to ladder, get to ladder. Fantastic. Okay. I'm really impressed. You rocked out there, tumbling and diving like a shooting star. And without the slightest fear nor hesitation at all. You definitely haven't lost your touch, Stella. And you even gather enough bright jelly to build a proper kitchen. Go for it. I'll be patiently waiting, slowly digesting myself. No, no, take your time. I am actively starving to death. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's weird that space bar is to cancel and E is to accept stuff. Alright, so don't have the materials to do anything else meaningful, which I assume will happen. The good stuff. Book. I see. I would like I'd like to talk to you, but currently the door is taking priority. That's a long way to go for a kitchen. You gotta earn that meal. You can now use the kitchen's oven. It should be rather simple. Put one ingredient in the oven and wait for it to be cooked. You can even try these loose corn kernels that have been hanging around in my pockets. I can't wait to see you in the cooking glory again. You got this. Oh good. Pocket corn. I can smell it. I could eat anything. Just give me some food. Well, I won't die just yet. Thanks, Stella. It's better than I than I thought it could be. But then again, you always been a wonder in the kitchen. Um, how did I make the popcorn look like pie? Mm -hmm. Don't forget, spirits don't run on sunshine and water. They need a good meal once in a while. It'll be up to you to understand who's fond of what. As for me, I'm sure you remember I always loved comfort food. And that I will die without a cup of coffee. 
But I'm not that picky. I can eat anything. Just never the same thing twice. Oh, before I forget, here's something I was supposed to give you. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but in Obel is a symbol of passage. It's a fee each spirit has to pay you. But something tells me you already knew that. I didn't? Okay, let's keep improving this craft. As you must see, then the blueprint, you can both a field and a gar- sorry, a blueprint table. There's both a field and a garden blueprint. Which means you can grow many different things. And turn the ship into an adorable farm of sorts. You should add a field first, in my opinion. It's going to be easier to find the resources for it around here, and you can grow linen in it. Which in turn is you will be used to craft more things. In addition to building a field, we should go buy seeds to use in it. But that will come later. I need you to visit an island close by. It's called Mostine Cove. And there's something I on it I need. I'll tell you when we get there. Cool. Yay! Alright. And then we expand the area. Or not. Yay, we're making a big boat. I have a feeling this boat gets ridiculous. Considering this is the small version of the boat, and they had multiple tiers larger. And I'm assuming the big thing it's going to do is increase this construction area I have. Now my hope is that, yeah, oh, nope, they're not quite. My hope was that these would be tall enough I could jump between them, but then the NPCs would have to go the whole way around. That's what I was hoping for. So while we get over there... Oh, your roof's a lie. That's what's happening. Is your roof is a heckin' lie. Yeah, I can't jump between them. That's deeply upsetting. Can you move it? Yeah, I can move it. That's part of the reason I felt comfortable doing that, as I already saw that we had the move option, and I had drug all the material that is supposed to salvage from one part of the boat to another. And so I'm like, okay, I can just move this willy-nilly whenever I want without cost. It does seem like, so far, the materials haven't been random. It feels like the material has been very deliberately given to us. Um, oh, right. Mostine Cove has been discovered. Can I jump climb? Yes, I can. Look at that. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. You told me why we we're going to be here. You didn't tell me we were going to see if there was a reason to be here. You said you were going to tell me why we we're going to be here. My friend's a liar. No wonder you're a dead spirit who's helping me, and seems to not recognize the fact that you're a dead spirit helping me. I want the picnic basket. Here we go. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. The best way to get wood is... It's the best way to get the wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight... Okay, so I have to drag it left and right myself. And the cat's dead. Congratulations. For you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. Go ahead. Cutting down more trees. Then you can get back to the boat and build the field 
with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Give me the berries. If it can be destroyed, it shall be destroyed. All shall fall. Something tells me I'm the only one doing the work and the cat is not meaningfully participating. Hey, Pruninger, how's it going? Oh, I guess I have to hold and time it? Oh, nope. To mine efficiently, release E with as late as possible without falling. Yes. Destroy everything. Um, it does have side-scrolling, but it seems to be more about managing my giant boat and the spirits I ferry on it. Uh, we're still very early, so I don't really know all the details. But um, it also seems to be about destroying nature and all that. Because if you didn't, if you didn't catch early on, what's actually happening is the uh, the boatman uh, Chiron. So for oh here. There. Feel better. Feeling much better. Okay. Now let's get out of here. But, um... So, the boatman Chiron. So, like, when you see, like, depicted, like, there's the guy who looks like death on the boat. Like, the, uh, river sticks that goes across and, you know, carry spirits into the world of the dead. Uh, he heckin' retired and said, this is your job now. So, I am, I am the new farrier of spirits to their deaths. Um, but like, I got a little bit more pizzazz about it. But yeah, so we're still early on. We haven't actually ferried a single spirit anywhere, but like, I have this boat. And I build a whole bunch of stuff up. Ha! It's better looking than I thought. There's a little... Je ne crois to it. Simple, but elegant. And now that you have this... Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field. So don't bother trying. But, you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we can possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes in seeds. He has set up a shop in Hummingburg, the, build the busiest city that in the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Incorporated, a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem with dubious business practices. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. So let's head to Hummingbird, then. Okay. Well, unfortunately... It's, well, no, it's not sleepy time yet. Can I still move the boat at this hour? Because they have the Zs, and when the Zs happen, I cannot move the boat. Well, it's not, it's not that I pass the River Sticks. Like, this, I guess, is the River Sticks of sorts. Basically, I am, I am the one, yeah, I guess the people I'm running into are dead. I guess that's fair. Okay, so boat's gonna move up until... That seems like... Maybe it's not a time-based thing. But, like, maybe an action-based thing? It, I haven't quite noticed how that works. But yeah, so we're basically ferrying spirits who have died to... To outside of existence.
But um, the gist is the spirits are going to have different things they want or need from me. We don't know what those are yet because we haven't done it yet. Um, and I'll have to do stuff to help them. Okay, it's too late at night. Yeah, so it's like a number of actions based thing. Um, because if you notice, when I arrived here, it switched from the moon to the Z's. So it's not time based. Um, it's everything I do has like an action to it and I get like so many actions a day. That's fair. Yeah, so the implication would be that's dead. I already am fairly confident our friend here is dead. And hasn't quite come to terms with the fact that they're dead. I will definitely say the animation in this game is really good. Like, it's fine. I can understand this would not be a lot of people's aesthetic. But it's definitely solid animation. So she said she will eat anything as long as she doesn't eat the same thing twice in a row. Oh my god, fish, why do you take so long to cook? You know someone is very proud of that idle animation. Comfort food also. Yeah, I don't know. Like, normally when I think comfort food, I think things like mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, soups, stuff like that. We'll talk in a minute. I'm cooking your fish. Yay, grilled fish. We're here. Let's buy some seeds. Theodore has set up shop in this island. Let's pay him a visit. Are you hungry? I want I wanted to know if you're hungry. I'm going home. Don't follow me, please. I hate people. <laughs> That's not what I said. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell people. Listen, I just don't want the junk mail. Stop it. This is wrong. Leave me alone! Hey, wanna know where this guy lives? My favorite spot is this bench at the end of the pier. It's beautiful and quite peaceful. After a long day's work... Oh my! I shouldn't have told you if I wanted to keep it that way. Take a good look at the shrine, Stella. It's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and the Everlight. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's abilities. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm fairly certain you could use um, O-Balls to activate it. But to get O-Balls, you need to welcome more spirits on your ship. I'm sure you'll soon find more lost souls like me. Well, she apparently realizes she's a lost soul. 
I simply adore your hat. Our local shop, Raccoon Incorporated, only carries garbage wares. Seeds, locks and rocks, and useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Let's talk. You got money? You got money? Okay. I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out here to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say it out loud. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency from the mountain gnome race, there is a nifty synergy with the level 3 rogue ability Eviscerate. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and all and auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? Nerd, I would totally do that math myself. Okay. Oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know. Your name is Mary? Or Marguerite? It's Missy? Wait, no. Esh. Don't tell me it's... Oh, shoot. I'll get it. Someday. Good. There's Theodore. Go ahead. Take a look at what he's selling. Um, you can buy the key to Hummingbird for 500,000. I have 400. Um, I can buy Linning Seeds for thousands. Um, I can buy a piece of Limestone for 14,000, and I can buy a single maple log for, th well, I mean, I can buy some maple log for 13,000. Wait, what was that? Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Yes, destroy him. Good, let's do this. Theodore? I know what you're doing here. And you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Whoa, hey. Come on, there's lines you don't cross. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. What? Madame, what is the meaning of this? My friend here is a new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie. And neither am I. That little scam of yours won't work on us. But... I can assure you my business practices are quite above board. Be warned, you treacherous re weasel. You striped treacherous weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior for one more second. No more shenanigans. Shenanigans. No more shenanigans. No more double crosses. Just fair prices. I. I. So stop being dishonest at once. The next time I see you. I'll try to be nicer. If you start being smarter. Got it? But... Yes. Yes, of course. I promise you will adjust my prices. I beg you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some hell. You both look like you could possibly join... The upstairs crew. You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not gonna lie. It is pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here now. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'll have to be able to jump inhumanely high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some idiot lost the keys. Well, anyway, see you, pal. Upstairs crew forever. Definitely not doing that voice very long. 
Okay. 5,000. That seems like a price I don't go bankrupt on. Yeah, we're definitely not going to do that voice again. Never do that. Stop. Stop dancing. Stop it. You're making me uncomfortable. Step right up, potential business prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Incorporated. We've been servicing Hummingburg since forever. You've got the glims. I've got the goods. I've got all the wares making you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. I'm sorry. I'm in a bit of a rush. Am I to understand that Raccoon has the key we need and is just selling it? Did you check the price for how much glims sell for? Well, the, the glims are the currency. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that there was an ad break. My bad. Yeah, so I can sell stuff I've managed to find. Um, I don't think I want to do that yet because I don't even know what materials I need. But the glims are the currency itself from what I'm seeing. Just checking to see if there's anything past there. Sorry, I'm okay now. Okay. Is hungry. Thanks, I love it. You, uh, you done? Your, uh, your animation looks frozen there, buddy. There you go. Got, got worried for a moment. Got, thought, thought, like, literally I petrified you with, like, some type of poisonous fish. That somehow I managed to make herring puffer fish. Um, press tab to review active requests. Talk to Gwen. Wait. Upgrades? Shenanigans? What? So I have my actual quests. The requests that are the things that help me like work the spirits through their thing that they leave. Um, so I can get paid. Um, so that's this one. The upgrades are different things I can make and all that. These are like the next things I can build. It just kind of gives me a list. Um, but then there's a category called shenanigans, which we don't have anything in. Which does make me curious. Now you can plant seeds in there. Give it a go. Plant it in the field. Plant in the field. Plant in the field. Well, you are the destroyer of worlds. I mean, accurate. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget, you probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. Ow! You'll have to find better mentors than me. Which reminds me. I believe it's time for you to find new people. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans, but you are the Spiritfarer. And the Spiritfarers find spirits. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes. However mundane they can be. I've heard there's a place not far from here where someone might be in need of help. 
and I'll bet you'll like this one. If he is who I think he is. Go. Let's sail. How would I... I do find it amusing, it's like, how do I do this? Literally everything, you just... You just use the whole thing. Alright. Thunderstorm will give me lightning in a bottle. I can definitely go and find more seeds and all that, but let's go ahead and follow the story right now. So the question is... As I go through the thunderstorm, what's going to happen? Can you get to the kitchen still? Yes. If you notice when I built this, it built a ladder over here on this side. So, yep, we're still good. It's too dark and possible. It'll be possible to get done. Yay, we get to be stuck out here in the middle of a horrible, horrible, horrific storm. There's a day-night cycle? Yeah, I don't think it's time-based. I think it's actions-based. So, like, when I say I want to travel from here to here, it might take, like, one or two, like, time frames or whatever it is. That seems to be how it works. It could just be my observation, but it seems to like not inch forward so much as like click and like lock into the next spot or whatever. Poached fruit. Okay. So I don't know if it's saving automatically as we go, or it saves when I sleep. Um, I haven't seen an obvious, like, icon or something in the corner to indicate when it's saving. Um, there is a save and quit button. Not exactly what I have in mind. And I ring the bell and he's like, oh god, why are we in the middle of a storm? Good morning, Stella. How's your mood? Thank you. All right. So I revived at the... Er, revived. Uh, Switch or PC? I'm on the PC. Um, if it's available on the Switch, that would, like, I don't... I wasn't aware of that. Which, like, for the record, not sponsored or anything like that. The, de the uh, devs did give me a key. But, um... That's, that's it. They just gave me a key for free to play it. Okay. Oh yeah, we get to murder some hacking trees. It says try escape. Oh, to see to see about saving. Yeah, so there's um there's continue and save and quit. So it must be saving automatically periodically. Because a game that only saves when you quit and never any other time is a very dangerous game to play. The only game I've seen actually work in that way in the last like 20 years was um... Oh, what was it? It was uh, X3 when you're playing on the... Like, hardcore. 
Don't Starve? Really? I don't recall having that problem with Don't Starve. I mean, I, I, I don't genuinely remember, but... Oh, great. You're here. Listen, I just dropped a lemon in that pond. My fingers were all sticky. It just sort of slipped. Why? Good question. I've been eating delicious berries all day. Look at my hands, I swear. I've been experimenting. I wanted to squeeze a little bit of the citrus on these wild fruit. Now, it's just berries with no twist. Unless... It's still down there. In the water. I'll do it myself. But I have these pulpy fruits to take care of. That's the one. I just need to find a tissue or something. I don't want to get berry juice all over it. Never mind. Just hold on that lemon for me. Don't go and squeeze it. Wait a minute. Maybe you could help me. This island is fresh out of food. My stomach always feels empty. Maybe I, I could even help you on board your ship. With cooking and fishing and building. I don't have my spices or tools, but I'll make it work. Don't think about it so much. Let's go to your boat. But why was that ominous shadow floating behind all of you? So, you know Chiron? The... Uh, in Greek mythology? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the new Chiron. Oh! Chiron is like, deuces! <laughs> Not really. He was like, today's my last day. I was like, yeah, you've been doing this for thousands of years. That's fair. Okay. Demand coins. Don't don't bury anyone without coins. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they pay us and it's like obols. O-B-O-L. I'm assuming it's a currency. <laughs> oh, wow. This boat is amazing. Here comes the real kicker, you little rascal. Get ready for a family reunion. The game automatically saves progress only after reaching and disembarking your boat's first destination. Um, and automatically saves progress during every loading screen. Gotcha. It's me, Stella. Your uncle at all. Surprised? Happily, I hope. I've been on that island for a while now. That means I'm dead. I can't wait to see the sights, the sea with you. It was lonely with my thoughts. No, I got you, Sprout. Let's set sail for a great adventure. Onwards. Wait a second. Is that a... Uh... I knew it. This is the Seamaster 2000. I've actually never seen it in action. I've only heard the rumors. Apparently, you could catch the biggest and brightest fish out there. Wow, Stella. You sure know how to treat yourself. Wait a darn second. You're missing a few bolts. Let me guess. You've been fishing out mostly garbage. Well, not anymore. You'll see a difference immediately. Uh, give it a go for the- for a fan. Okay, how would- How would bolts change what I capture? Like, I could see bolts making it so the, uh, the fishing rod was not sound. Oh! It does have the typical mechanic that these things- okay. Never mind, it's the same fishing game that they all have. It's fine. Like, it's not a bad fishing game. I just wish people did something else. So, the fishing pot rod will gradually turn red. And I back off. It turns red. I back... Hey, wait a second. Good 
Good job, Sprout. They never stood a chance. You sure don't mess around. That would make you a pro. All this asshole fishing has gotten me all rattled up. Which reminds me. I had the shiny thing in my pockets on the island. I have no idea what it does. Maybe you can hold on to it. For safekeeping, I suppose. Oh, brother. I just need to take a breather. Oh, by the way. You might be curious and might have already tried. But yes, the water is very salty. Well, I'll go take a look around. You can fish to your heart's content if you want. Uh, let's see. Dang. Should have fished more than while well, I was free fishing. Yeah, I think the idea was you could only catch herring before. Herring and trash. You've got two ovals. Remember that shrine in Hummingbird. I'd try to add them there. If we're lucky, it might do something amazing. If not, you'll have wasted your time. You should go see. Wasting my time. I tried to jump through here earlier. It didn't work. Yay. Can I build a new thing? You can only build one of those. Oh. Oh. Okay, I see. I do like the way they handle the map, where it's like, you travel from location to location. And when you reach a new location, then it, um... It, like, opens up the area to explore. I kind of like the way that works. Stella, quick, come here. This is what I call a storm. Any respectable person would never let their friend get hit by lightning. But I think you should try. You have the Everlight. It will protect you. The lightning bolts will cast sparks where they are about to hit. Rush toward those. I Oh, I also forgot. Do you got any empty bottles? If you're hit by lightning with an empty bottle, you'll get lightning in a bottle. Isn't that bananas? This world, lightning and bottles are pretty handy resource. So, come here equipped. As you, uh, as a head start, here, have a few bottles for you. Don't worry, they're pretty easy to come by. Get ready for the thrill of your life. This seems unsafe. This seems like a terrible idea. Also, the frog is jamming heckin' hard over there. I know. But it's a cool animation. Oh, and literally he's... Literally I can't interact with other things right now. Oh, it's giving me money. I'm getting a little bit of money every time we get hit by lightning. I don't know why I'm getting money for being hit by lightning. 
Oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure if you were going to make it for there for a second. You gave the old uncle quite a scare. Did you feel that rumble? What a rush! You look pretty awesome catching those jolts of lightning all over the boat. Thanks for being the best captain I could ever have hoped for. Yeah. Wasn't that great? Favorite niece of mine. Okay. I know nothing about you. Loves the way the rain feels on his skin. Alright, I mean, that checks out. Don't ask me how, but I've already met Albert Array. He definitely is a shark. But his interest in all things maritime will be helpful. Such as his boat upgrades, he sells at an outrageous high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classical, mythical challenge again. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Okay, so you are hungry. Hmm. No. Sorry, Stella. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. I've tried, but I just can't. Oh, thank you, Stella. I love comfort food so dang much. Which is interesting because she ate berries earlier and berries are definitely fruit. Well, I mean, corn is a vegetable. But I gave her, like, raspberries earlier. She's like, you know, perfectly cool with that. And I give her, like, actual poetry. She's like, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I don't eat fruit. And you're like, you know, you know, you know, raspberries are fruit, right? While in the air, press space to jump again. Double jump. Count me in. Why does the useless cat get superpowers as well? You made, you made it. Wicked moves getting up here. Uh, I kind of lied earlier. It's not so great up here, but you're here, so might get a little better. Uh, I don't have a membership card for you. You'll have to be an honorary member of the upstairs crew. I'll show you the secret handshake, but I don't know where your hands have been. That's fair. Yes, young person? Can I assume you are busy? Of course you're busy. Wait a second. You don't have a full-service kitchen. Come back when you do. I have quite a pitch for you. Okay. What? What am I doing? So we got seeds. What? Oh, you gave me such a fright. That cat, he looks familiar. Daffodil? Is that you? Oh yes, yes it is. Ever so silky, aren't you? Then that must mean... Stella? Is that really you? What if a fantastic turn of events? And is that your boat over there at the sea? You've come to rescue me again, I see. Well, 
not so fast. This time, I'll be the one doing the teaching. You can bet on it. Let's get going, then. I have some lessons for you to go through. Okay, so we met a random person. I found a thing. A citrine. Okay, so it seems like different people have different requirements that as we go along, um, I'll be able to get them to jump on my boat. And as I go on my boat, I will do things that make them happy or something. I don't know. But then they'll eventually go away. It's too dark to navigate. Um, it'll be possible again at dawn. Over here, little one. Oh, Stella. All this air, all this open space. Yes. I feel I can grow quite nicely here. Look at me. I'm flowering already. What are you? So we've got... We've got an elk and we've got a frog. Are you a snake? Oh, getting out of this, um, Jurassic. What a feeling. Thank you, Stella. You are, in fact, actually a snake. Cool. Welcome to being a snake, I guess. Oh, I want to go to sleep and someone needs my attention, so let's go do that. Oh, Stella. Don't you think your boat feels a little sad? Well, it sure could use some greenery. And an added bonus, a small garden could serve as a nice classroom. I've been thinking about this teaching thing for a while. It'll be called Caring for Plants from A to Zalia. Hmm, yeah. That doesn't ring as good as it said out loud. Maybe I need to work on a name of some more. Cool. I don't remember if I had the materials for a garden or not. Uh, I do, because we got our lightning bottles. Carrot seed. Turnip seed. Carrot seed. What a wonderful little garden. You really outdid yourself, Stella. But being adorable, cat. Um, well then, that makes us just about ready to start the first lesson. Make sure there are some seeds in these plots. They're important. Oh, one second. She's gonna teach me more. I don't know, having, man, having a snake teach you to garden didn't work out well last time. Having a tape sneak teach me to garden didn't work out well last time. Um, for our first lesson, we'll start with something I'm quite excited about to share. Oh yeah, now I gotcha. But it didn't teach them how to garden, it just gave an apple. Which was actually more of a pear, if you actually look at the time frame and what Apple referred to, because Apple is just generic fruit. Um, this world has something... No, it wasn't a pear. I can't remember what it's supposed to actually be. It doesn't matter. It's just a different fruit. Uh, this world is something strange rules, as you probably already noticed. 
Um, keep the robe over your head. I've always been a preacher for love towards all living beings. For you see, a garden is a vessel of our love, a mirror we hold to ourselves. This seems truer now than ever. Back on my Iceland, when I was lonely, I sang to the flowers. And as I expected, they grew much more vigorously. Oh. Yeah, it's... I don't remember. It's been too long. Through trial and error, I've managed to write a little song. The plants seem to react particularly well to it. I want to further test that observation with you. Go inside the garden and try playing with the piece, that piece to your crops. Uh, but first, I gotta wake up the sleepyheads. Good morning, honeybee. Oh, I have to like really hold it. How long is the song? How long is the song? This does end, right? Oh, I'm watching the plants actively grow while I do this. Okay. I'm guessing they're showing that I can literally grow the plants all the way to full if I just sit here and do the guitar thing for a while. So it's probably until the plants finish growing. <laughs> you have successfully played the song for a full week. Have you seen how the plants swayed and grew as you entertained them? Isn't that fabulous? As I suspected, emotions in this world manifest themselves more vividly. Well, I'll make sure to spread the word as this fascinating discovery. And who knows? Other passengers might know about how to play some music too. They might help, if a good enough mood. Speaking of which, in all the commotion last few days, I forgot something. Here, this is for you. This strange coin has been tickling me since I've arrived here. I'm relieved it's not one of those pollen allergies again. You did good. Now I've got a real boat going. And you'll have to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But, before all that, I have something to ask of you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house 
is not ideal scenario for any of us. Especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point. It'd be incredibly rude for me to blame you for anything. But I do blame you for everything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house. Um, unpretentious, but sophisticated. The cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind from all the turmoil of the deck. Oddly enough, I'd see something with an alpine flair. See, even I get filled with some nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me right now in the next five minutes, or I will totally scream and I'll demand to see your manager, which will get very weird. Gwen's house. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo in Waverly? Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. I took a look at that blueprint station. It's nice, I suppose. But you know what would be even greater? More plans! Bigger buildings! Better pencils! I'm just saying. I'm sure Albert at Albert's, Albert's shipyard could help you out. Everyone wants me to do everything. I gonged the bell and you're just all gonna have to live with that. Stop demanding. I'm supposed to be ferrying you to the dead. Not perpetually running around everywhere and doing... Well, Albert's way down there, so we'll stop at the crates on the way. Everyone's like, me, 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 Okay, I imagine there's probably something later I can do to automate that process more. What what are what are what's happening here? You know, I'm delighted you're, that you're here with me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here to take care of me in my final hours. You've always cared so dang much about others. Always protected those you found vulnerable. Even pandantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. And you were wearing the blue sneakers with the glittery tags? And there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Father turned red and smashed the purple... Smashed the purple Delano vase. It was rad. Hmm. I could go for an amuse... Amuse... Boucher? What? Feeling much better. So you're hungry. Um... Don't get me started on fruit. They've ruined my best dresses. Okay, so I must not have given her the berries before. Because she was definitely like, don't you give me those heckin' berries. Isn't that a real song? I'm um, not sure what the context was. Sorry, I lost it. Alright, so she will not do the same thing twice. Oh, me, me, me. Ah, uh, yeah. I made multiple black coffees. Hmm. 
Now this is one dang fine coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, but this is certainly my favorite of all of them. Thank you so very much, Stella. I can't, I can't tell which one of you has something to say. Stella, I don't want to s disturb you with this, but for the last several weeks, I've been having a strange dreams. There was a gi gigantic snake and of menacing reefs and of rotten fruit. And since joining you and your crew, well, they become much clearer. I think it's the air and the sea. Or maybe the mystical energies of the Everlight. Anyway, I'm now convinced my dreams have been visions. You're always this way. And furthermore, I think they might be coming for our mutual acquaintance. I've been looking at the map in your cabin. My eyes kept being drawn to a specific spot that I've marked. I think we should visit. No point in making it wait. Perfect! Sea trash! Quick, jump in the water! There's wreckage! I'm sure you could find a whole lot of materials in. Get in the water, Stella! In the water right now! With the trash! With the trash, Stella! Where you belong! Wait, I didn't mean to say that like that. Um, just get the trash, Stella. Alright, so Snake Person is like, yo, uh, we have a mutual friend who gets heckin' assaulted by a snake or something. Uh, you know, like, let's not drag that out. Let's just go for it. Okay. But thank you for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the bits, those donuts, and the raids. I also really do appreciate it. I do hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. It's been a weird game. Not going for the money before the shipyard? Um, now it looks like you can go to the money anytime. I actually don't know how much money or what I need. I think most of the stuff was material costs. Unfortunately, I don't know what his prices are off the top of my head, because I don't think I can look on this thing. Improve? Oh, I'm missing blueprints. Gotcha. So if I get materials, I can actually upgrade things. So I guess the idea is, like, as we go, we're going to build more and more. So far, the construction of stuff has felt... How do I want to describe it? Like, there's not there's not a thought that goes into it. Like, you can choose different positions or whatever, but that's not a big thing. It seems like it's just, you do a thing, you've unlocked the next thing, you build the next thing. Which isn't necessarily a problem, I think. Wait, what? Oh, right, 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 right. Um. Hello there, young lady. I guess you must be the new spirit fairer. Happy to make your acquaintance. I'm Francis. I could say I'm sort of a wandering merchant. See, I'm very fond of things, objects, curios, tchotchkes. I must buy everything. Simply put, I'll buy anything you don't want anymore. I'm sure you'll come across a few valuable treasures out there. So tell me, what is it you want to part with? Hey, you want a cat? Dusty old, uh, dusty but precious nonetheless. 
It makes you slightly dizzy if looking at too long. Should be sold. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just saying, like, they're exquisite and should be sold. I do appreciate that the game's like, yo, just sell this. What's this? When planted in the garden, it could turn into anything. Hopefully something good. Okay. It's nice for the should be sold, but yeah. There's this gave the youngest nephew a headache for his parents. Okay. Yeah, I do appreciate because there's there's some games that they do a good job. They're like, this is garbage. It serves no purpose. I I appreciate when they're transparent on that. I've been getting your mail here for the past month. I've not been sending mail. I'm not a post office. You need to add a mailbox. Oh, I see. You need to add a mailbox to your boat. If you get one, I get one little letter filled with glitter. I'll lose it. I'm warning you. You might be my customer, but I deserve. I reserve the right to yell at you. Get it done. Well, I don't have those things. So you're on your own with that. Yay. Yay! I heard they just fired an employee at the popcorn factory. He was a good worker, but they found him sleeping on the cob. Welcome to the shipyard, young traveler, where my prices are a customer's best friend. So what do you need? Welcome back to shipyard. Tell me what you need. I want a joke. Was it one joke a day? I demand entertainment. I gave the boys a nerf gun. Ah, yes. Okay, so we got all those plants growing. Uh, so I got the garden. I got a mystery seed. I only bought it because I'm like, okay, either it's going to be a mystery seed, like it's actually random, anything that can grow, which probably a bummer. Um, or it's not actually random, but that makes one specific thing, but you don't know what it is when you start. Oh, so it tells me where you are. We got crates we can go and get... Green Halton Bay. Let's go towards the crystal dragon thing that's like it attacks someone or whatever, or it confronts. I don't know the exact verbiage she used. Ring the bell to wake everyone up. Get the mystery seed, and we plant a bunch of other stuff. And I'll talk to everyone later. You showed him how to use it best? Oh no. I'm going bananas on this ship. I don't have anything to do. We got this surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite need. Did you know that? I think I need a place to focus that energy. In a sawmill. Yeah. 
just missing some of the key components. Materials. Which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your own uncle to sleep on the deck, right? Well, dear, doing good? I see you've been taking care of your plants. That's good. I hope my teaching is helping you in some way. You know, I used to be quite a little soldier. Midfield State University Agro Agronomical Engineering Class of 71. Top grades and a progressive profile. I was hired right away by one, of the, by one of the biggest corporations. They put me in charge of a large parcel of land, several thousand acres. I was to maximize the output of our land assets. Well, that's what I did. And believe me, I did it well. Crammed the field full of transgenic seeds. When the insects came, I doused them with poison. And then the soil turned grade. I pumped it full of chemicals. Great. Powerful stems grew upon these grounds. Plentiful, unnaturally enormous cups. But underneath lay an unfathomable sickness. I guess it was inevitable that I met with a dragon then. Sooner or later. Okay. Uh, I'm worried that I probably got that young man in trouble down the road. Probably. But people make their own decisions. Are you in my house? You've upgraded your boat. Hmm, that's weird. Don't tell Bert, but I left some bolts loose. He's probably just in a hurry. Give me a second, here we go. Oh, mama. That did more than I thought. Let's see here. Oh, the boat's got some advanced options now. First, you can travel safely and not go through the danger of the sea as often. When you're using the map, you can just use safe travel mode. It's that simple. Now don't worry, it won't stay on forever. Next time you select a destination, it won't be on. Hope that helps. What else do we have here? Oh yeah, the engine's been boosted. You can now set multiple destination points. That's pretty handy. You can set a course to let, let the wind do its job. Besides that, it's just a bigger boat with more room. Well, have fun. All right, so it looks like that's waiting on quartz. That's waiting on bottle lightning. That's waiting on limestone. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, so I need linen thread, which basically means I need the linen to grow. All right. Geez, you gotta love the sights here. The sea, the sun, the breeze on my skin. Just feels right. I've had to be aboard the ship. With you, my niece. I wish your Aunt Viv was could see you right now. Running your own ship. Helping these stranded souls. Really warms the heart. I'm glad you picked me up on the island. I'll try to make your make myself at least cumbersome passengers on this ship. Except for food. I'll never stop asking for delicious meals. Mood, I'm starving. Oh boy, I just love food. Keep them coming. Can't get enough. Wasn't that great? Favorite niece of mine. Okay. Um. Can you sing the field seeds? Yeah, or probably. I don't want to put the time into singing because it's going to be <laughs> obnoxious, honestly. I've been thinking about father recently. When he left with Doug, I didn't feel anything. No sorrow, no hate, no relief, nothing. It didn't really matter to me. But it mattered to you. You spent three days crying in Aunt Petunia's room. 
I bought your three sisters and gave you a dang oversized sweater I had knitted a month prior. Mum was appalled, but you felt better. I've long wondered why you were so sad. The best I could come up with is that you were sad in my stead. Feeling things I couldn't feel myself. Alright. So you won't drink, eat the same thing twice. I'll take comfort food over almost anything. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. Fair. Okay. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything for me to nibble on? Um, do you like berries? Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Ah, oh, you're sweet. All right. Has been having unsettling dreams. Well, that doesn't seem like a good thing, but that's okay. We're going directly towards where the thing that was causing your dreams to be. Yeah, I'm observing the same thing, that food needs to be cooked a lot more. I'm hoping it's not too much of a chore. They've alluded to the fact that, like, the people can kind of do a bunch of things. So I'm hoping I can just leave that unattended. Because I don't want to babysit it, so we're going to find out. It doesn't seem like the kind of game where, like, you turn on the oven and walk away, and then the whole thing burns down or something. Oh, uh, we got hit with an ad break. You know what? Yeah, well, we'll give me a moment. We got hit with an ad break, so let me let me quickly get marbles on stream ready. Um, that way, people don't miss out on too much. Uh, okay, so do this. Play the music. The marbles on stream should come up in a moment, and random race. All right. So we got the go race. You just do exclamation mark play to join in. But yeah, so we're we're doing this. How are people feeling about the game so far? Like it's definitely something very different from what I normally have on the channel. Um, it does have kind of a building aspect, but it you know, like like with the building of the field and the garden and the houses and all that. Um, but the building feels like very scripted. That like you go to the place, it gives you the next resource, you build the next thing, kind of thing. And I'm sure, like, eventually we'll have it where we can, like, deviate, like, two different ways that I can build this one before that one, but ultimately I'll get them all. Um, it does have a lot of story to it, which is fine. Now, it was implying that I'd be, like, helping, like, move all these wayward souls through, and every one of them's been family, which is a little weird. But I figure, I figure the idea is the game's gonna have you, like, say goodbye to people, because these are all family members. I am the new Chiron who helps move troubled souls from their lives to the afterlife. Well, I mean, not even the afterlife, to, um, how do you phrase it? To nothingness. Um, basically the next phase, whatever you want to go with. Um, which would imply, like, these are all family members who are gone now. And so I'm assuming what's going to happen is it's effectively our character getting closure on the people they lost in their life. So we've got, like, our uncle, our aunt. Um, I haven't figured out exactly what um, the first person is related to us. I think it might be our sister. I'm not, I'm not super sure on that. Like, either a sister or a cousin or something. Probably a sister, just based on the style of game. But, um... I figure that's how the way they're going to make it so you actually care about the other, other characters kind of thing. Is just the whole, you know, making making it so your character like has existing attachments that we experience and all that, and then whatever is troubling them, they'll come to terms with and they'll move on. So like the snake right now, are I think that was our aunt, um, is seeing like some 
something. Like she'll probably come to terms with whatever that that other snake thing represents. Um, which from what it sounds like is she um she was like some type of um genetic engineer for like farming and all that. Um, and that she did really good on making like this ridiculously high yield farm and all that, but she messed up something, and we don't know exactly what, but whatever her actions were had negative ramifications. And Donkey Duff went down. Because this one, the platform moves back and forth, so if you're on the wrong side, you just lose. I would say, time-wise, you were moving fast enough that, like, you could potentially set a record. But then the platform is in the wrong position. Okay. So CK Hawk has gotten in there. And now I can see if I survive as well. It's not looking good. Oh, wait, never mind. I moved back. Cool. So we got CK Hawk in first, uh, myself in second, and then no one else finished. Cool, cool. So let's go ahead and get rid of that for a minute, and we'll get back to Spiritfarer. I'm curious if the second player does in this. Because you can have local co-op so I can control the cat. Hey. I came here to cut down these trees, but I forgot my axe. I'm not going to start using someone else's axe. That would be strange. I like the way my axe feels. It's so sturdy, and it calms me. Oh, I miss that axe. I've been passing the time by writing letters and throwing some in the water. I've been writing poetry. It's not very good. But I'm getting better. Hopefully no one finds my terrible poetry. Look at these trees. I'll be picking up some wood. Hoping to do some work on these later. All right. I do wish it wouldn't flash, like, have, like, a flash in the screen nearly as much. Please be the letter. Um, what? A valuable ring. Oh, it's just something to sell. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so there's really not much on there. Navigate to the next location. Oh, you're still cooking. I mean, I guess it makes sense. I did load a ridiculous amount of stuff in there. I do wish there was a much easier way to see who was hungry. Like, I actually had, you know, a thing that's like, who who needs attention, who's hungry, who's what. Um, birds having to go and talk to everyone. Um... Oh, this. I thought that it might be it. The dragon. I guess it is inevitable that it would be here. Following me. Always. Even in this world. What does the ring of the bell do? It wakes people up in the morning. 
our destinies. Well, they're intertwined, are they not? Still, for all the harm it has done me, it looks quite in pain, doesn't it? The rocks on its back seem to be oozing with corruption. Perhaps chipping away at those would soothe it? Go ahead, Stella. All creatures deserve love and care. Do what you do best. And it's dead. How, how am I supposed to get up there? Oh. I don't... Uh, yeah. So it looks like I have to use these as temporary. It's so hard to time that. Because the idea is I do more um, if I time it well. <sighs> the closer I get to when you drop it without actually dropping it, the more it does. And I'm noticing it's giving me all the quartz I need for my next upgrade. I would have never expected that. It looks relieved, doesn't it? I wonder what that means. If we were ever to cross this dragon's path again, I think we should help it. However, I might feel about it. For now, though, I need some time to collect my thoughts. Thank you, Stella, for everything. Why did your happiness go down? Witness a dragon from her past. Well, not right now, please. Okay. Alright, so our character needs to go to sleep. Food. Well, we're going to find out if it's actually a problem. I'm assuming it's not. This doesn't feel like the kind of game where they would make the whole thing where it's like, oh, you didn't grab that, you ruined it, all your materials are gone. Or, you know, the ship's burned to the ground or whatever. The Everdoor. Um, well, I don't think anyone's ready to go yet, so we'll start going towards the crates. Oh good, it has an icon saying your food's ready. Uh, 
Okay, so food is way less laborious than I thought. I literally just go put all the corn in there, start cooking it. Oh, I haven't rung the bell. Not what I want. Stella, I'm sure you remember my old sewing machine? It was a diva, with good lettering and a manual wheel. You know I've always been into textiles, but a few years ago I went to a museum that had tons of different sorts of fabric crafting machines, and all I couldn't help but notice that you can build a loom on this ship. It could be a great opportunity for me to teach you a few tricks, and I'm quite sure that you'll need thread and fabric soon. So you should definitely add a loom to this boat. The resources for it should be simple to find. Just check the blueprint table. Alright, one second. You need a bite? Alright, um, here's your coffee. This is what I call a perfect blend of coffee that hits the spot. Instead of a sewing machine, we should build a loom. Feeling much better. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? Sure. Um. Oh, no. No, no, no. Stella, don't you remember? I don't eat any animal product. Not Presmic, nor Ova. Certainly, they were not meant for our consumption. And the meat. No, no. I'm sorry. I won't impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat that. Alright. So, popcorn. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Sorry. I'm not yet attuned. What? Alright. So, snake. Snake is vegetarian. Or vegan. There seem to be quite a few fascinating new faces aboard. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want you to forget about... Uncle Atoll. You know me. I'm Mr. Personality. I get along with anyone anywhere anytime. I just didn't think I'd make new friends my, my age. You don't have to worry. I'll be alright. Sorry I ain't brought it up. I'll just go stand on the edge of the boat here and take in the splendor, you know? Hopefully no bugs will fly in my mouth. It's no fun. Alright. How do you feel about it? Delicious, I had a hankering for this. Now is not the uh, best time for a hug. Alright, and dive to see what we get here. Some copper ore. Some quartz. A whole bunch of seeds and such. Alright, we'll set chart to the next location. Um... So I've explored most of these areas. We can go to the next spot over here. I'm growing a bunch of stuff. 
wonder if it actually makes sense for me to grow all of these things. But before we worry about stuff there, let's get to our blueprints, because I have everyone asking for everything. we got a bunch of quartz. So we can make the loom, but none of the other stuff. So loom is happening. All right. This loom looks so fantastic. Don't be scared. It's in perfect working order. Let me show you how it works. You put Fibre fiber inside and then you spin. Just make sure you hit the target. You get a little extra if you hit the marker needle. See? Pretty easy, right? Now you try. Try with this fiber. See, now that's not hard. The machine does all the work. You just have to flow with it. And that's what makes it so soothing. The rhythm, the sounds, the feel of it. Utterly satisfying. I'll probably give it a go at it myself uh, when you don't need it. Don't worry um, about the materials. I'll manage. Alright, so we got some more wreckage to deal with. Why is there one of the questions... Pots. Um, I bought a seed that says it could be like a random thing. Um, so I planted it. So we don't actually know what I'm getting from that. Alright, so keep finding copper ore. So you're still going for a while, that's fine. Um, we did get to this. And grab the resources. Let's try and find our next location. Oh, it looks like these might respawn? Because we already did that set of crates, I'm pretty sure. Interesting. Oh, let's curious. All right, so we want the sawmill. There, so I had to move it, but that's fine. Ooh. 
This looks amazing. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big. What a beauty. There's just one problem. I don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. See what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. So, like... Doing it all wrong. Let me give you a hand. When you're cutting logs, you need to make sure you take measures are accurate. Then you cut. Measure twice, then cut. You just need to keep your saw blade steady and your cutting line. If you don't do it properly, you'll end up losing a pinky or an arm, or something worse. If you hit the old hammer for good luck. Give it to go now, rascal. I. I. Oh, you gave me more. Okay. Alright, other mini games that's been one of the hardest ones so far. Okay, I can cancel midway. It's like, wait a second, I don't actually want to sit here and knock out 15 of these right now. <laughs> I'd like to do significantly less than that. All right, this is done cooking. Let's go up here. All right. So we got grilled vegetables. What do I do with sawdust? What, why am I cooking sawdust? I have questions and concerns. Yeah. What now? Stop talking. Stella, I've got to tell you. There is something I stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now, it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as it sounds, that's not far from here. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actually trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore, as I spent so uh, spent much time with you here. I really, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. I prob, I'll probably only find regrets and sorrows there, but it's worth a shot. If I have the location your map, I'll be ready whenever you are. Yes. Maybe your next passenger will be a termite. I'm curious, like, if it'll make something that's not food, like, some type of material use. Like, it make it into, like, some kind of, like, glue or filler or something. Or, like, a ship repair kit, like, where we patch it with, you know, sawdust wear. Alright, so... That's curious. Because I was expecting that to show us whatever we got there. Alright. Too dark to navigate. Alright, that's fine. Let's go to sleep. It's okay. It'll have our cooked sawdust in the morning. Mmm. -mm. Extra fibery.
Okay, so there's your new location. Go try the safe travel and just see what it does. I get the idea it's supposed to avoid things that are dangerous and whatnot. But still. Everyone needs everything. I don't know if you noticed, but I have been very tired recently. And I'm afraid to say it's starting to weigh on my morale. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I think the guest house, as lovely as it is, might not be very good for me. It's a bit too noisy and quite cramped. I hate to ask you, really, but could you maybe arrange for me to have a more private space on the boat? I think it would be helped tremendously. And then we can continue our lessons. But nothing too fancy. I just want a place to sleep and meditate. With lush greenery, perhaps. Oh, and I'd be late if it had some natural stones. And a path. And some shrubbery. Yes. This would be splendid. Oh, and marble flooring. Thank you again, Stella. Oh, and the marble flooring should be heated. Don't forget the heated. Why does everyone want to talk to me always? You did great. You ready to start cutting wood like a champ? Just remember to be careful with this sawmill. Don't go and mess around with the dangerous saw blades. Just because you've got leftover wood doesn't mean you should cut your hand off. Oh my god, stop asking me. You've been chopping it up at the sawmill. I like it. Getting the work done. Learn a new skill. Now you've got some materials, maybe you could build me a house. Let me sketch something for you real quick. Look, it's nothing fancy. It's pretty basic. Just a few hinges here, a few nails there. Oh, you've already got some materials to build me something nice. I'm asking you not only for me, but for the crew. Apparently I snore at night. Loudly. According to your friend Gwen. Everyone's like, I want a heckin' place to live. Why can't you all like that I'm taking care of you on my boat? And not make me do a million things to take care of your every whim and fancy. Alright. I have to know what happens when I cook a log. And what, what did the... What, what did I get from? I missed what I got from the uh, sawdust. I should have been paying more attention, but it's busy being overwhelmed by all the things I have to build. We got coal. I see. Makes sense. You can't build any of these things you want. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Ah, oh, you're sweet. As you know, I tend to get hungry. It's just a fact of life. Sometimes when I do get hungry for some very specific things, your Aunt Viv would call that the laser focus tummy. Don't get me wrong, I still eat pretty much whatever you put in front of me, I'd just like you to put some effort into this one. I'll give you a shout when I get a craving. Hopefully, I won't ask for anything too extreme. 
Did one of your neighbors had come by and brought some stuff to make me and my old man some dinner? Nice. You never know what this appetite. Fair warning, Sprout. Delicious. I had a hankering for it. All right. And where is Sheep Friend? Not Sheep Friend. You're not even remotely Sheep. Um, what did I give you last? Coffee, I believe. This is outrageously good. Comfort. Food is always tastes so good. Thank you. All right. Well, I'm keeping everyone very happy on the boat while endlessly running around and scrambling and feeling like I have tons of things to manage. All right. Oh, that's... Okay, so that gave me a coal as well. So basically it looks like I can cook... I can uh, take wood products, uh, chuck them in there, and it'll give me coal. Cool. All right. I would expect at this point to have our first person that we've successfully brought over. Hey, time. Here we are. I'm curious. I'm both excited and anxious. But he's starting to have second thoughts. As if, never mind, let's go. I'm not looking to talk to you. Let's get this boat on the road. Yeah, so I'm guessing what happens is, like, you learn about each character, they build up, and, like, we're gonna learn whatever problematic thing or whatever her unfinished bit. Because that's a whole, they're lost souls. So there's, there's some, something there, isn't there? How long has it been since we've been here together, Stella? Seems Jerry was been taking good care of the premises. He always was the best gardener we ever had with us. Mom has not been home much since father died. Crap. I'm much more emotional than I thought I would have ever been. I love this house so much. As much as I hated it, probably. Look, I don't think I can go in there. Even with you. It's just... No, I can't. Go without me, I'll wait for you here. Here's the key. Oh, and Stella? If you stumble upon my old music box, would you bring it back to me? Thanks a lot. Remember, this house has always been a real labyrinth. If you're lost, you have to follow the light. Good luck. I'll wait outside. Let's see, I'm about to get some Fallout 4. I was I'm finalizing my mod for, for the game. Gotcha. Um, Cat, how did you unlock that door? So it is a maze. We got a loom upgrade. Oh. Welcome, small traveler, to my humble palace. Everything I own is of the finest quality. Everything is also bolted down, so don't get any funny ideas. Um... Everything that the light touches is mine. Also, everything that the light does not touch. Yeah, everything's mine. Oh. Have you seen my splendid silverware collection? It's an old family heirloom. I've been told it was priceless, but I'll let you in inside a secret. Oh. It's very pricey. This house is so big, old, big, people sometimes get lost walking through it. Wandering around for hours and even days. Growing ever hungrier. Glimpses of shadowy figures slipping in and out from the very edge of their vision, and the endless daedalus of wealth and splendor. What, me? No, of course, it never happened to me, since this is very obviously my house. What a silly thing to say. 
Why do I never leave this balcony, you ask? Because it's my house, and I can do whatever I want in it, that's why. I'm rich. Okay, so fall damage is definitely not a thing. It doesn't like look there's actually like damage. You found the box? Could you give it to me? Thank you. I'll hold on to it. Oh, you found something else? Wow, I forgot I ever had that. It's an old manual for a Golden Royale. Remember, they had won the first prize in the town's yearly, uh, tom Tombola? I dreamt of having this machine since the second grade, but Father would never let me participate in the lottery. This manual will come in handy. We could use it to upgrade for your loom. I... Yeah, let's get back to the boast. And forget this place ever existed. Yeah, so... Basically, that hurt her mood that, um... She's going through whatever this is. Because it does seem like you can't make people happy at all times. Stella, I... Nah, never mind. Nostalgia is not my forte. I'm slightly happy the villa is in good condition. Or is it? Okay, change the subject. You must have noticed the improve tab on your blueprint thing. Though there could be added decorative elements to the spirit house the spirit houses and the stations. It's time to upgrade that loom of yours. Once you have the required resources, go for it. It's the only way to craft fabric from thread. Go on. Um, Hawk says, I'm confused. They lived in the river sticks while trying to cross those sticks? No, so the way they're implying it is that, like, we're in an alternate world kind of thing, because, like, we're we're in the River Styx, so it's like, I don't know, like a purgatory kind of thing, but that there are things that represent the world they came from. So, like, that was her house in the living world, like, duplicated here kind of thing. It's, like, almost like you're going through their memories or something. That's That's the impression I'm getting about, at least. Okay, so I need three of those and a bunch of thread. All right. Alright, so to get the other thing, I gotta go where we have the, um, the spear kind of thing. Steam shellfish. Oh, I'll just wait now. It's gonna be almost instant. Oh. Oh, never mind. Okay, so that's gonna take a while. Alright. So, for building stuff... So I need a bunch more planks which I can make happen. I need 30 maple planks. Alright, well we can make that happen. It looks like if you do it perfectly, I get four. If I don't put, like, any effort into it at all, I can get only, like, one or two. Let's see what we're up to. I don't think I made enough, but... 
I did exactly now. All right. It's perfect, Sprout. It's massive. All this room for little one, for little one me. Can't wait to catch some shut eye. This is really great. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. All right. Why are you still standing here? All right. Yeah, so we're... Yeah, so it's really kind of an interesting game. Like I said, it does, it does seem very linear in how things go on, so it doesn't feel like... I'm not getting the same satisfaction I would get out of, like, a game where I'm, like, building my own base or whatever, because it just seems like you build the next thing, you build the next thing, you build the next thing, like... There's not really any decision-making or anything like that. Now we got a new island we haven't reached yet. Um, I am liking, like, the story elements of it. But it is a lot of, like, for, for streaming, it is a lot to read. Uh, the characters do seem like they almost always want or need something. Um, I do wish the game had more of a UI presentation of, like, when people are hungry and that. Because as far as I've seen, I can walk up to them and the actual food icon will change. It's like, once I'm talking to them, it's easy to see what they want. But it does feel like I kind of, you know, babysit them. You know me, I can always go a little sack. Something salty. Something buttery. Something with flavor. Oh, jeez. You know be just perfect? A big old bag of popcorn. Just go ahead and heat one up. Yep. There's no way the boat's getting through that. Maybe I'll have someone desert that. Some dynamite or something. Stop. Stop going. Stop. No. Stop. I'm trying to feed you, Uncle. I literally already have heckin' popcorn for you. Mm, that really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to take bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even the TV turned up, you can't, couldn't hear all the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down. Watching these terrible kids movies? I wish I was still there. See them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for the popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine. Nothing special. It reminds me of my first kitchen. In my terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing in there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyways, here's a little something to brighten up this mess. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it, but it'll be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Uh, your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Okay, so we gave him the popcorn he wanted, and in return, we can now upgrade our kitchen. We apparently cannot pass the um the blue line. I was trying to wonder what that blue line represented. So I wasn't entirely sure. Oh, that's cool. So she's playing the song that makes the plants grow faster for me. That's neat. That's a nice touch. It'd be cool, like, if you make the people happy enough that they just, you know, do stuff to talk about. What is the other option? Recipes. Okay. She's just showing recipes I know. Yeah, so I can't... I can't go this way. Well, no, Sam. I need to tell you about Doug. Um, he called me the night father died. Mom was still on the plane and he couldn't talk to anyone else. 
He was very polite, very articulate. We chatted for about an hour or so, or so, and he cried only twice. It didn't strike me at the time, but he was at in a bar, which is an odd for an accountant. He told me father's last words was that he loved me. We never talked again. Um, that feels like it wasn't probably, you know, oh yeah, I need the green thing. Okay. You got, you got stuff you're working on, which I guess they're lost souls, so that's kind of the point. What is the fruit looking icon? Um, I will have to look in a moment. The fruit looking icon. Oh, on her? That's food. Um, so we just gave you coffee. All right. <laughs> Jellyfish are here again. Remember. You just have to crash into them to get the light to burst out. You won't get hurt, and I will feel queasy. I know they'll be back, but at least it will buy me a bit more time. What do you say? Don't be scared, Stella. They're coming straight for us. All right. Can't jump high enough to reach that last one. I'll have to wait till I get a taller boat. Oh come on, I can't get that high. Come on, stop tormenting like this. go so not a whole lot uh we're just ferrying spirits onto the non-existence or whatever you want to say ah, i see so those go away once you've done them we are basically chiron now because chiron was like i quit i'm done existing you're this is your job now So we're collecting spirits, helping them, you know, sort out whatever it is they're trying to sort out, and then seeing them on. Uh, we have successfully not seen a single spirit on yet. We seem to just be collecting all of our family members, which is somewhat concerning. Because it implies that all of my family is dead. It's been a fun game so far. Like I said, there's 
there's a couple things that I wish I could see that people are hungry much easier. We're just having to like run up and be like, are you hungry? I guess you are. Um, have steamed delicious. Delicious, I had a hankering for this. And a hug. Alright. And the only reason I'm not reading that dialogue is I've already read that specific dialogue like 30 times. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. I also do appreciate that, like, you hug them, you get a hug them against, like, oh no, like, that's fine. Or, like, not right now kind of thing. It's like, good. Like, it is, it is a thing that, like, people are like, hey, you know what? Now's not the moment. I've got some thread here. I was going to use it to weave some fabric for you later, but if you want it, I can give it to you for you to weave. Do you want the thread? Yes. Here it is. And then you're not hungry yet, so I won't worry about that. But yeah, so basically, it seems to be like there's a lot of story stuff going on. We build all this stuff, um, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of decision making going on. Alright, so let's get our next destination set. Let's see if we can't do anything here. Um, Build-wise, I still need to build that, which we don't have the materials for. Um, can't you set multiple destinations? Yes, but I think I'm supposed to stop at the destination. I think the multiple destinations if I want to go around stuff, but I might have misunderstood it. Um, improve. So I need more lightning in a bottle and linen fabric. Supposedly she's able to make the um, thread into linen fabric somehow. Oh, I think I need to improve the fabric place. I don't remember what materials I need. Uh, I need maple planks and linen thread. Okay, that should be a problem. So I can make the planks at the workshop. Well, that wasn't great. So we don't have the icon saying that the, um, that the oven is right, because what I'll do is the next round is I'll take a bunch of that sawdust and make more coal. All right. I do really like the animation style on this, though. I also wish they wouldn't 
blink the screen nearly as much. It does seem like every other thing I grab wants to make the entire screen flash. Like that'd be one of my big my big thing. I think the reason they're doing it, and I could be wrong, is so for like the tree, they want to get rid of the tree without like making it so you don't see it. They just kind of vanish it while the flash is happening. Or isn't it just like spontaneously disappearing or something? Alright, so we got more wood. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do real fast, though, is before we do the next thing, uh, we are about to get hit with the ad, so I'm going to go ahead and get marbles on stream up and ready. Alright, pick a random track, and we'll get things mo moving. But yeah, thank you so much for everyone who's been tuning in, has been lurking, chatting, following, subscribing to the Bits, Hosts, Donos, and the Raids. Um, if you want to get in the marbles on stream, you just need to put exclamation mark play to get in on that. Um... I do think we'll probably switch games here in a little bit, as, like, the game seems fun, but it does seem slow, and my, like, voice is not going to put up with all of the dialogue we've got going on. I kind of just want to see one person off the boat, though. Like, that's that's kind of what I want to do, is I want to get one person, like, you know, finish one, one spirit, just to kind of see what that is. Um, and then maybe after that point, we'll probably switch up the games to Outlanders. Because um, I am kind of feeling that, like, it doesn't seem like people are as particularly into this game. Um, and a part of it is I'm willing to bet, like, no one on Twitch is looking for it. It's also not really the style of game I would typically play on the channel. Like, it ended up being way, 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 way more on, like, very heavy on the story side of it. Which isn't necessarily a problem. Curious if I can actually look to see how it's... It says, I think it's a very heavily story-driven game that a lot of people played or saw some play on Twitch, right? Yeah. Like, I definitely think I was late to the punch on this one. Like, that's kind of one of the tricky things, especially with, like, a lot of the indie games, is it does feel like quite often you you have to jump in right when it drops, or you're late. I mean, it's true of all the games, but it's like, there's a lot of games that don't hold up as well. Oh, I'm surprised that actually worked out. When, I mean, actually, Sniper Spice did this. Same. Well, actually, it looks like everyone's, for the most part, doing that. Except for Conrad. Conrad came in a little too hot there. But it looks like all of us were hitting the rails. Oh, and there goes Donkey Tough. Conrad flew too close to the sun. Yup. Which is really ambitious, that's all. Yeah, but I'm guessing stuff like Spirit Fair, I'm, that's probably one of those ones that... I guess there's a good Iron Maiden song about it. Yeah, I'm guessing what, like, what happened with the games is probably one of those ones that when it released, a whole bunch of people played it, and those who had interest in it saw it, and everyone else just didn't. And there's just not people looking for it, which is fine. Um, It's also not the normal type of stuff I usually pull up on the, uh, on a channel, so, you know... A lot of people are not going to check it out. And then we also had Diablo 4 drop, so there's a whole lot of people checking that out. Alright, so we got first place, we got Sniper Spice, then we got CK Hawk, and then there's myself, and Elgoso, and then Donkey Duff and Conrad did not finish. Yeah, so it doesn't surprise me. Alright. Okay, so I think... I think we finished everything here for the moment. What do you want now? Just, okay, you're gonna stand there, that's cool. 
Like I said, I do want to get one person that I, I complete what they want and they get ferried on. Like, hopefully it's not something that's way down the road. Like, if it ends up looking like it's going to be a long time, we'll switch out. Okay, so we went there. Got a lot of the green spirit stuff. Um, there was multiple things that requires the lightning. Was there something I needed here? Oh! Thank you, I didn't even realize we went down to make this. I love you. Alright, bear with me chat, I'm going to be right back. Toon brought me food, so I'm just going to take two seconds, I'm going to step away, and I'll be right back. So thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll be back in just a minute. Uh, get rid of the highlight message. Oh, no. Not that. Highlight message gone. Alright, I'll be back in just a minute here. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I, like, thanked, thanked Tomb for, you know, making dinner. Like, it's something I offer to help with all time, but in this particular case, he snuck off and just did it. Um, alright, so I need the lightning in the bottle thing. Supposedly there's a sheep and a rare chest here. Okay, so I'm not sure if the dot... Showing means I found the resource, or the dot not showing means I found the resource. Also, I don't want to use the mouse for that. I'll use a keyboard. Um, We'll go with it. I'm not going to save travel because I need to be struck by lightning a whole lot. I think I have glass bottles we found. Like, that was the R ones. Um, a game I've debated playing a number of times is Sunhaven, which I don't have a key for it. Um, which was one of the hesitations was... I was like, okay, it's a game that I know people brought up a couple of times that I should try. It just released, so, like, it seemed like a good time and everything. I was like, okay, maybe I'll play it. And, sorry, I have it on the wrong scene. My bad. Um... I was like, okay, you know, that'd be worth checking out. And then I looked at the price, I'm like, ah, like, it's not a particularly cheap game. And then for it having very, very low viewership on Twitch, it's like, I can't justify that. Um, because it could be one of those things that, you know, a lightning storm. Don't be scared. Want to catch some as many lightning bolts as you can? That's the spirit. Just stand below each one and get hit. We're lighting in a bottle. It also gives me money. I don't know why.
That's how you get paid, right? You just stand out on lightning and stick your hand in the air again and again each time and get struck by lightning again and again. This is actually pretty, pretty solid money. Okay, I think it's done. I mean, we made almost like just shy of 500 money there. Okay, so you could use a snack. I think the thing where you said you don't like, like you don't want to eat this up, like twice in a row. I think you're a liar. Because you're like, I'll eat almost anything, but not the same thing twice in a row. And then she lied. A little snack, you're feeling quite hungry? Sure. Alright, um... Not really what I wanted to do, but okay. I did, in fact, do it. Alright, so either I have two rare material whatever beacons or whatever here. A spirit. Yes? Oh, I thought you had something to say. My next game is right. Yeah, so. Yeah, the person who talks about all these, like, Dungeons and Dragons, like, research. I'm busy, miss. Be gone, stranger. I appreciate that a lot. Okay, so we found one of the two things that we were missing there. So it implies there's a shrine. I'm browsing some for some fiber. An excellent salesperson always carries what the customer needs. So, my well-off patron, what can I do for you? Yeah, so you can just buy the materials. They're expensive to buy the materials straight off like that. But you can just buy them straight up like that. Upstairs crew forever. We already got the one up there. I do also appreciate that when you're looking at the map, it'll be like, here's what's here. So it told me I still need to do the sheep, which I'm assuming I have something I have to do with the sheep. And then it also told me I was missing two of the little things for uh, resources, and I did one. We haven't seen the other one quite yet. Oh, I just remembered I have treasures that I could sell the raccoon. Alright. If 
raccoon doesn't buy it. So I gotta go to the um the special salesperson that buys like the really valuable stuff. And we'd already found the spirit here. Let's see if we look at the map and we've seen our place for a spirit real fast. Oh, hi, friend. I was literally just about to do it. I should have been reading this dialogue, but it's too late. So he found some valuable rings. And all these things say it should be sold, so there's no guess about it. Okay. Find and collect. I can make some poached fruit, right? I think I got the materials. I have some poached fruit right now. Perfect. That's way better than putting effort into something. Having it already done is the best. Give me all that heckin' money. Give me the money, old man. You completed your first errand. What a great haul. This is plenty more of that if you ever feel like it. I'll always be around. Yeah, so she's just giving me dr thread directly now. It looks like he's gonna start giving me planks. And I do appreciate games that do those kind of mechanics where like early on you gotta like grind up a material. And then once you get to later game they either just give it to you or they just fast forward it kind of thing. Planks, get your planks. Made some planks for you still. Enjoy. You made one. You made just one plank. I felt implied there is more to this. Alright, so I guess it's time to go check for, well actually, so I got a bunch of money, um, I've got, I've got choices. So, with that money, I can go buy upgrades to the boat, or the key. I think I'm gonna buy the key, and the reason I'm gonna buy the key instead of worrying about the boat, is I can make the boat bigger, but it's not like I actually have more things to put on the boat right now that I could afford. So, like, the resources are my bottleneck. Um, there's basically the upgrades to the boat. I don't think I'm going to get stuff I need immediately. This key opens the door next to the broken ladder. What the heck? You unlock the door downstairs? Now anyone can come up here? I don't want those downstairs jerks up here. Hmm. Upstairs crew forever. Hmm. Good day to you. I don't feel like that was a good use of 5,000 currencies. But it's done, so you know, whatever. It is technically progress. Alright, so we can't navigate anymore. 
Yeah, so the only thing I didn't find there was the sheep, which we found, but I can't seem to do anything with. Um, we've got maple logs and limestone. These treasures, wood and ore. Yeah, spent her money. Got raspberries there. We have a rare chest and an unknown resource, and they cannot get to the mines yet. All right, so improve. I'm missing linen fabric. There we go. Because that's what I've been waiting on, because now I should be able to make linen fabric. Gotcha. All right. Um, let's water these. Alright, so I do think it's not looking like we're going to be getting anyone out of here in the very, very near term. So what I might do is we might be switching over to Outlanders now. Um, I've been having a pretty good time with this. It does feel like I'm kind of just zipping around grinding the materials. Um, it's definitely a fun game. I do love the art style. I do like the madness that your boat becomes as you're like building in this way. But um, it kind of feels as when I saw like the ship building, I thought it was gonna be like more kind of all over the place. But it feels very just you do the one thing, they do the next thing, they do the next thing, like in the order of operations, and that's kind of grind the materials to the next one. Um, I do wish there was a way to tell when people were going to start getting hungry, like when I need to feed them, or be able to like you know kind of handle it a bit more like less laboriously. Like, to have, like, a mess hall or something that they would go to when they're hungry. Or, like, some type of UI element in the game that'd be, like, you know, when when the frog guy there, you know, could use a bite. Now, like, at the top left, like, some icon, like, of his face or whatever appears. That's like, oh, I need to feed you. Brilliant. Now the loom is fully useful. Of course, many stations can be upgraded. You just have to find the blueprints for them and the materials, of course. Stella, I believe it's time for me to teach you the advanced loom techniques. That's the thing. Um, there are a few improvements that you can make to the machine itself. It depends on how you place your hands on the machine. How you arrange the threads as you load it, has them back to. Use the trucks, you'll be able to craft much more intricate fabric, actually. Let's take a look. Uh, you can finally craft fabric with thread. I've already done it. Why are you unhappy? Is hungry. It's also those games because there's like a thousand things going on that even like stopping is like well no let me just quickly do it. like the one thing don't worry about it. it's just the one last thing let me make it happen all right but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and stop we're gonna switch over to outlanders 
But yeah, so it is it is a fun, chill game. I like the art style. I like the aesthetic. I can certainly see like playing this game on my own time. Um I don't think I want to try and like play through it, play through it on stream, because it does feel like it's going to take a fairly long time to do. Because I've currently only got four people. Um, I have seen that we have at least two or three ship upgrades to get me to an like, entire new biome slash areas or whatever. So I'm assuming there's going to be a pretty decent cast of, of NPCs we run into. Um, so it's definitely not one I'd play through to completion, I don't think. But yeah, like, no, the animation style is gorgeous. The idle animations and all that. Like, I like where she does, like, the yo-yo thing and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a pretty funny game. Alright, so I do think I am going to be switching games, though. Because just, I don't know. It's, uh... I don't think it's necessarily a great fit for the channel. It was definitely outside the normal what we play on here. Alright. There's a bunch of games the same name as the one we're going to be switching 